the name of the game? Minimize your free surface moment. Hello everybody, I am Nick the Naval Architect. Today I want to give a little practical demonstration about how we can configure our tanks to minimize our free surface moment. If you have operational experience on board a ship, you'll tell me that there's a lot more that goes into deciding your tank loads than just minimizing your free surface moment. Absolutely correct. Today is more of a demonstration to show how picking the different fill levels on your tanks and deciding which tanks to use can affect your free surface moment. So let's look over our options and see how can we best put the liquids on this table in our tanks to minimize free surface moment. Before you we have a mock layout of a ship in simple diagram form. You can see we have the outline of our ship and then we have several typical tanks that could be used in this ship to contain different liquids. Now in a real ship, the configuration will be decided for you long before the ship is built. However, in our mock-up here, the game is trying to decide which of these tanks will we use to contain our liquids. And the goal of the game is to pick the right configuration that will have the minimum free surface moment. So go ahead and pause the video right here and think about which liquids would you put in which ones of these tanks. Okay, let's review our tank configuration a little bit. The thing we care about most with our tanks is their transverse width. So for example, this wide tank here that stretches almost the entire beam of the ship, this would produce a huge amount of free surface moment. We want to avoid using this, if at all possible. So pause the video now. Did that change your answer at all about which tanks you would use? The next thing we need to know about our tank configuration is that the depth of the tank does not change our free surface moment unless we're talking a few specialized cases. And we don't talk about that when we're planning for operations. From an operational point of view, this deep tank and this shallow tank have the exact same free surface moment. And that is because they have the same horizontal shape and horizontal area. So when you're considering free surface moment, the horizontal plane is what matters in the tank, not the depth of the tank. There are a few small exceptions to that rule, but I'm not going to cover them here. Finally, we have a weird tank over here. This is a smaller tank nestled inside a larger tank. That's fairly unusual. You don't see it too often but it does happen. Now the question is, when you are looking at this tank within a tank, what do you count as the horizontal plane for the free surface moment? Well, for our smaller tank, that's easy enough. It's just the horizontal plane of that small tank. But our larger tank is a problem because we have the walls of this smaller tank around it. And so what we actually have when we're looking at free surface moment for this larger tank is we have the horizontal plane of this large tank minus the horizontal plane of the smaller tank. And it's not straight subtraction, there are some complicated mathematics, but this is the basic idea. Okay, last chance to guess. Where would you put your liquids to minimize the free surface moment? Now I'm going to show you how I would distribute these liquids purely to minimize free surface moment. As I said before, vessel operations affect this in an entirely different manner. Now you can see here we have three liquids in three different containers. Now you can see here we have three separate liquids that we need to find places for. Don't worry, in this demonstration, this is just water with food coloring. But let's make it a little more interesting. Let's pretend that this green liquid is hydraulic oil that we need to find a place for. And let's pretend that this yellow liquid is diesel, fuel oil, that we need to find a place for. And then this large volume of blue liquid, we'll pretend this is ballast water. So how would I distribute these liquids into this model? 
Well, first I'm going to take my small amount of hydraulic oil and I'm going to put it into my small tank. It just about filled up the tank, so that's a perfect amount there. The next thing is where am I going to put my fuel oil, my diesel? Well, we've already said I don't want to put it in this big middle tank. My aft tanks, my aft tank and forward tank could easily hold all the diesel, but I probably want that for my ballast water to control the trim of my ship. We've got a lovely set of port and starboard paired tanks right here. This could work. However, if I put some in both of these, I now have two sets of slack tanks. So that increases my moment quite a bit. I'm going to try putting it here in this centerline tank. Happy days! I found a spot for my hydraulic oil and my fuel oil, and I only have two slack tanks so far. The last liquid is my ballast water. I need to find a place for this. Now, traditionally, you would put some in the stern tank and some in the bow tank, and this would be used to control the trim of your ship. However, I'm playing the game of minimize free surface moment. I'm going to pour most of the liquid into my bow tank and keep going until the, until the tank is completely full. The neat thing about this, now that that tank is full, it's not a slack tank. The water will have nowhere to go or shift around, which means I have no free surface moment from this tank, even though it is full. A tank can be either completely full or completely empty and it will have no free surface moment. But as you can see, I still have a little liquid left that I need to find a location for. So let's put it in our stern tank. And that is how I would play this game of minimizing free surface moment. At the end of the day, we have four tanks with liquid in them, but only three of them are slack tanks. And we have picked the three smallest tanks in terms of free surface moment. And this would be the configuration that would have the minimum amount of free surface moment. That is the game of minimizing free surface moment. How did you do? Did you guess right? Can you create a more complicated configuration at home and demonstrate even more interesting tank configurations? Tanks have consequences. Picking the shape of your tank and picking the total number of slack tanks on your vessel can radically alter the free surface moment for your vessel, and this can have major implications for stability. I hope this helped to clear up the idea of free surface moment. Thanks very much. I am Nick, the Naval Architect. Oh, filming can be a lot of work. Oh, hi! Speaking of a lot of work, do you find you want to achieve more in the maritime field but need some help with that? Well, you're in luck. DMS is ready to help with engineering services customized to your needs. Check out my website to find the full range of expertise that I can assist you with. Together, we can achieve more. Thanks.